taken from the Ultimate Killer Collection, by Stuart Dandel. M.A. Barker and Her Boys The Barker Gang The name Ma Barker is probably not so familiar to most people. Her villainous actions and those of her four equally violent sons, earn them a place in the annals of history as one of the most ruthless gangs to roam the USA. Together, Ma Barker and her boys terrorized Midwest America in the 1930s, robbing banks and taking lives at will. There is no doubt that she was the driving force in the family and the bond was so strong, her sons were happy to follow wherever their mother led. Kate Barker was born in Springfield in 1872 and she was no stranger to the crimes of the Wild West. Her childhood hero was the outlaw Jesse James and it hit her hard when he was shot and killed in 1882. Kate, as she was known, was not a pretty teenager, and struggled constantly with her weight. She was flattered when she received the attention of a local farm laborer, George Barker and even more so when he asked her to become his wife. Together the couple had four boys, Herman, Lloyd, Arthur, Doc, and Freddie, who was the youngest and most definitely Ma Barker's favorite. The family lived in an impoverished state, in a house which was little better than a shack. From an early age, Ma Barker started to hone her little lads into criminal shape and it wasn't long before the Barker boys caught the attention of the police. It would frequently fall on Ma to use her very best persuasive skills to get her boys out of jail. There was no doubt who wore the trousers in the Barker household however, and by 1927, a very downtrodden George, decided he couldn't take any more and walked away from his family. Ma Barker soon decided that she preferred the attention of women anyway, and it was also rumored that her boys all favored homosexuality. By the early 1930s, the Barker family had moved on to more considerable crimes, such as bank robberies. It wasn't until a sixth member of the gang arrived however, that their escapades took on a more serious nature. Already a hardened criminal, Alvin Karpus met Freddie Barker when they were both serving time in the Kansas State Penitentiary. Freddie was in prison for killing a policeman during an attempted theft of a car, and while sharing a cell with Karpus, the young Barker boy was initiated into more lucrative criminal activities. When the pair were released together with the remainder of the Barker family, they formed one of the most notorious criminal gangs of the 1930s, the Karpus Barker Gang. Not only did they start robbing banks on a regular basis, they also started hijacking mail deliveries and turned to the more profitable business of kidnapping. Ruthless and trigger-happy, the gang would not hesitate to kill anyone who got in their way, even if they turned out to be an innocent bystander. The Carpus Sparker gang carried out their first kidnap in 1933, asking for an astonishing ransom figure of $100,000 for their victim, who was wealthy Minnesota brewer, William Ham. The gang succeeded in their mission. Flush with first-time success, the gang upped the stakes and demanded $200,000 for their next kidnap victim, a banker by the name of Edward Bremer Jr. Ma Barker was the mastermind behind the kidnappings and spent several months planning each stage. She worked out every precise detail and gave each of her boys a specific task. On the 17th of January, 1934, Bremer dropped his daughter off at school and then headed off toward his office. He wouldn't get there however, as his car was ambushed at traffic lights on red, by Arthur Barker who held a gun to his head. Once in control, the gang then forced Bremer to sign the ransom demand but attempts to retrieve the cash were botched on more than one occasion. Author Barker became frustrated and was close to killing Bremer. It was only his brother Freddie that talked him out of murdering their victim, pointing out that they wouldn't receive any ransom if he was dead. The cash was eventually delivered on the 17th of February, 1934, and Bremer was reunited with his family. He was one of the few men to escape from the clutches of Ma Barker and her gang. This kidnap however, turned out to be a big mistake, 
as Edward Bremer was a friend of President Roosevelt. The president was keen to stamp out this type of crime and instructed the FBI to deal harshly with any offenders. In response to the orders from the highest level, the FBI employed highly trained flying squads who specialized in hunting down public enemies, including the infamous John Dillinger. The big mistake Ma Barker and her boys made was when they decided to eliminate George Ziegler. Ziegler was one of the masterminds behind the kidnapping of Bremer, but had become a problem to the gang by bragging about his exploits and drawing attention to himself. On the 22nd of March, 1934, Ziegler was brought down by the Barker boys as he walked out of his favorite restaurant in Cicero, Illinois. It was a successful hit but the assassins were not careful when disposing of the corpse, they forgot to check Ziegler's pockets which unfortunately for them, contain valuable information about Ma Barker and her boys. This information would turn out to be invaluable to the FBI and they set about picking off each member of gang, one by one. The first member of the gang to be apprehended was Arthur Barker, who was captured by the FBI on the 8th of January, 1935. He was sent to Alcatraz where he was shot and killed when he attempted an escape. The FBI managed to track down Ma and Freddie Barker to a cottage they were renting in Lake Weir, Florida. Ma would not give up without a fight and managed to hold them off for four hours, using her favorite weapon, a machine gun. Ma Barker and her beloved Freddie, were both killed in a massive gunfight. Lloyd Barker was caught peacefully and served 25 years for murder being freed in 1947. Shortly after his release he got married, but unfortunately for him, his wife stabbed him to death in 1949. Herman Barker was wounded in a gun battle with rival gang members, and rather than let them finish the job they started, he killed himself with his own gun. Few people mourn the passing of Ma Barker and her boys. Many believe that she had given birth to sons of the devil and had little doubt that she was evil personified, who passed on her love of killing and violence to her sons. Sometimes things, just run in the family.